Alrighty, hey guys, what's going on? It's Mike. So, I'm home today. I'm off from work. It's been a long friggin' month, to be honest with you. It's been, it's been bullshit. It's just been, it's been terrible. That's not what this video is about. Um, last week, Erod two one two sent me a, a text message with a tracking number, and it's for my. CGC ASM Silver Age books that I have to me it's been a long friggin' time. I want to say oh October-ish. But um I don't remember when I sent them to Erod to get pressed. And that man is busy. Busy. So he put me in the queue, you know, no favors, no nothing. Just get me in the queue and when my time, when my number's called, I got, you know, business was that was being done. Business was being done. And uh, so we got that done. And uh, then he shipped them out to Sarasota, Florida for me, CGC. And uh, I want to say that was, I don't know, maybe around Halloween or something like that. But these are all going to be uh, Silver Age books, ASMs. So that's a difference. Um, category i guess you know not modern i think it's called what's called economy so it took a in in my opinion it took a long time but it probably wasn't all that bad so say they got them in you know say they got them for around halloween or something like that so november december jan you know about three months not, i guess it's not too bad but when they've been gone from you for so long you kind of just want to get them back anyways it's a minute and 53 seconds going on and i haven't shown you a goddamn thing yet so let me um could hit the pause button and i'll open this thing up and we will uh discuss it together all right so we're back i got them right here i believe there's one two three four five yes i did send six and um i decided to pull one back because i had heard potentially of John Romita Sr. doing a, a signing through CGC. But from now, my understanding is that it's not through um, direct to CGC. It's through a facilitator. And um, I think it's like 200 bucks now. But thankfully, I've got seven of them. So I'm kind of good on that. So anyways, the one I held back was ASM 100. Um, it would have been nice to see what it... I'll have to send it in at some other point. But anyways, here we are at two, three minutes now, and we got nothing. I do know the grades of these because, like I said earlier, I had such a, uh, a shitty month at work. It really it was just busy. It was it was tough. It was, you know, we persevered. We got through it. Um, I needed some good news. So he sent me the grades already, and I got super stoked. Um, I don't know what order these in, so let's just do it together. And uh, find out what's going on again. These are all ASM books. So this is a 5.5. Oh, wow. Um, what is this? Ooh, son of a biscuit, huh? Look at that. Excuse me. Um, off white pages. So this was uh, ASM 27. This is like the. I don't know, fourth, maybe fifth appearance of the Green Goblin. And this was one of my first quarantine purchases. I bought this this year. I bought this through Zap Comics. Um, I'd have to go and actually look to see what the uh, prices I paid for it. I don't recall, honestly. Um, the case is in great shape. So... Uh, very happy with that, and I'm extremely happy with this grade. For a book that came out in 1965, to get a 5.5. Five. Oh, wow, that's just nice. Super. So let's go on to the next one, guys. Um, ready? Whew. That's a stunner. A 4.0 Amazing Spider-Man 33. And this one has off-white pages. I had a, something else here somewhere. I don't, don't worry about it. Um, 
this is the last Steve, no, this is not the last, excuse me, that's 30, 38, or 39. This is just the uh, most iconic, I think, um, Steve Gecko cover for ASM. Uh, it's a beauty. Uh, it does have this massive crease going right through the side. So it's got some, it's got some stuff going up over here. Uh, a little tanning on the back. When I got this, I figured it was a, you know, two and a half to a three. Uh, Erod was able to press. Obviously, he can't, there's nothing he can do about this and about this, but he can smooth it over, make it look better. It looks like he probably cleaned up the back some. Um, wicked stoked about that. All right, hold on. That was the Jedi saying that he's done with school. So, that, uh, again, 4.0 ASM uh, 33, Larry Bird's number. Uh, fantastic. Let's go to the next one. Case looks great. Oh, Jesus Christ. So ASM 46 and a 7.0 with off-white pages oh. wow wow all right so a little backstory on this one here i got this book off of davis comic finds um he sent it to me as as a form of payment for some autographs and submissions that i did for him and he has maybe like an eight, eight five or something like that. He's got a higher grade one. But this one here, some kid or whatever took some tracing paper. I remember doing it as a kid. I did it with my brother's Hulk books and traced a Spidey. Big, heavy indent. I can hardly, hardly see where that trace line is. Um... It's gone. It's beautiful. So this is the first appearance of the Shocker. This is probably the biggest key key in this uh, submission here. But wow, what a beautiful looking book. So we got an off-white to white pages. First appearance of the Shocker, Herman Schultz. Peter moves into an apartment with Harry Osborne. And look at the back. The back is so... Fucking clean. It's gorgeous. Huge. All right, so we got two more guys and gals. Oh, okay. ASM 8, um, excuse me, 64. Um, Vulture appearance. One of those uh, city skyline covers. I believe they did them in a number of uh, issues, different titles back then. I can definitely think of Daredevil as being one. I'm sure there's a Avengers or Fantastic Four or X-Men as well. Um, definitely, you know, again, not a key, just a, a low number, under 100. Um, John Romita cover in a high grade. So I had purchased this one off of Erod, and he told me it was, um, it was no joke, you know. And uh, I wonder if he pressed it again. I don't know. He probably saw it and he says, I don't have to do that. But uh, yeah, really cool, beautiful 8.0. And lastly, this book, again, it's, it's a nothing book, but this is what it was. All right, this was a PGX 8.0. I would never in my life submit a book to PGX ever, but I'm not afraid of purchasing one, okay? Um, I've had this one now for some time. Uh, it was graded in 2017. I've had it before then. Um, and it was for John Romita to sign. But then I found a different book, and I was happier with that one because it was more valuable, you know. And uh, so I just sat on this one. Again, it was an 8.0. Uh, 
So Erod took it, he pressed the shit out of it, and now we got ourselves a 9.2 on Amazing Spider-Man number 65. It's gorgeous. It's absolutely fantastic. What is it? It's off white to white pages. So this is a testament to uh, to Erod as well. Um, Well, I'm, I'm super excited for that. Very, very cool. Nice 9.2. So, in recap, guys, it's 10 minutes of your Wednesday that I've taken away. Um, John Romita, Stanley Story, John Romita Art, a 9.2, um, number 65. An 8.0 with white pages from 1968. Yeah, these are all... These are all older than me, you know? Shit. Um, the Vulture. This one here came out in, in 67. Uh, ASM 46, 7.0, first shocker. This one here came out in 66, ASM 33, the iconic Steve Ditko cover. And lastly, ASM 27, a 5.5, uh, third, fourth, fourth or fifth, and definitely not third, um, the parents of the Green Goblin, so ASM 27. So, wow, that, that's just incredible. I'm happy, super happy, made my, made my week, my, you know, took care of the problems from last month. And uh, I'm all happy now. So that's it. That's my uh, little quick submission. Sorry, it's 12 minutes long. And uh, hope everyone's doing fine. And uh, hope everyone's still staying safe. You know, uh, things are going to be changing for sure. It's, we're, we're getting past that point. All right, guys, until next time, I'll talk to you later.